Hello everybody, my name is Aaron with Thrive Outdoor Solutions. Uh, today we are gonna go over setting up your controller's Wi-Fi so that way when we go through our closeout, uh, we have everything ready to go and we can teach you how to use your brand new irrigation system. Uh, so first things first, um, on the day of the installation, we will send you an email at the end of the, towards the end of the day, uh, that will help you with uh, registration and setting up and creating account for your HydroWise application. Uh, so what that'll do is you can also download the application and it will help you to set everything up. Now, when it comes to getting it set up and actually running the, the wizard, we don't recommend that you do that because we will have that all set up for you on the day of your closeout whenever your local representative will visit your location uh, and they will help you kind of go through the steps in learning how to work your HydroWays application. Um, the first things first though before we get into the product itself is to check your email to allow uh, access for Thrive Outdoor Solutions uh, to basically get into your HydroWise application so that we can set your rain and freeze sensor, uh, your standard watering schedule, as well as uh, you know gain us access if we have we need to go in and actually troubleshoot anything or create any programs for you in the future. So with that being said, um, I've already gained access. So whenever you do it, it'll actually ask you to register. I've already registered because I'm a contractor. I've done this many, many times. So we're gonna go into uh, my personal account. So that way you guys can see the overall layout and you have a good understanding before we get there to, to show you how to work it. So first things first, you're gonna log in. So I'm, give me a second here, I'm gonna log in real fast. I love that my phone already remembers my email, that's beautiful. Okay, so after you've logged in, uh, it'll take you to the screen of your phone and this is basically the home screen of your HydroWise application. Now, you don't need to worry about anything else on this because like I said, we will have it all set up uh, for your standard watering schedule whenever we arrive to do your closeout uh, and take care of you, you know, through your local uh, representative. So. Uh, now setting up the Wi-Fi, we're going to go back on this. I'm going to set this down so you can see what we have here in front of us. This is your Hunter X squared controller. This is what's going to be installed either outdoors or inside of your garage. Um, and this little thing right here is the Wi-Fi wand. Now this Wi-Fi wand is going to go and be put in there already by our crews. So they will have, you don't have to worry about putting it in yourself, but it will be input onto the side of the X squared controller. Um, now what it'll do is the uh, the setting up of the Wi-Fi is going to allow to allow us and allow you to be able to access your controller remotely through your application. So the first things first when setting this up is on your application you'll see these three bars up on the top left hand corner of your phone. You're going to click that and what's going to do is going to bring up a little bit of a user interface. You're going to go down to your controller settings. And on your controller settings, it'll see a green button say connect to Wi-Fi. And what you'll do is you'll click that button. And as far as the serial number and everything goes, we should already have that set up uh, and taken care of for you. So it's just going to be as simple as you going into the connecting the Wi-Fi and getting this part set up since you know your password to your router and everything else. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to do Wi-Fi direct SAP mode and you'll see this little... Um, interface right here that'll tell you to click the button, the Wi-Fi button, two times. So what we're going to do is set this down real quick so you can see. Now it's not, you need to do it quickly and it's going to be a quick one, two. So ready? Well, it'd be helpful if I actually click the button. There we go. Now, when you see that this button is, this bl is blinking twice, two times consecutively, one, two, You'll see that that means that it's ready to be connected and on your application here, it'll say confirm when LED is blinking twice. So once this is blinking twice, like I said, you're good to go ahead and hit this green button. Okay. Now it is going to ask for enable location permission. You can enable that. All right. So after it's scanned, it'll say choose your X squared. So what you're going to do is you're going to click your X squared. It's going to connect. Scan for it, and it should pull up your Wi-Fi, a list of Wi-Fi networks that it's able to, to get. Now, of course, we are Thrive Outdoor Solutions, and you're going to click that one. Obviously, you don't want to click a ton of them, so let's go back and do this one. There you go. And then you're going to go down here and hit the Connect button, and it's going to ask for the password, which we have. So give me a second, and I will put that in.
Okay. Okay, so we've entered our password and it's going to have the connection process set up. And as you can see on your controller itself, it's connecting and in the process. Now when it's all said and done, it should say online on your controller and this area should be finished up and be, it take you to your home screen. All right, so we just didn't want you to see and have to wait through the whole updating process. But as you can tell, and if you look back on that and reference back to the video, once it's all updated, it should take you to your home screen. Now, as what we were seeing before on this particular part of the X squared, it was going, it was saying update B, and this light was green, was flashing green and amber. That is completely normal. Uh, it is just basically doing a firmware update on the controller itself, and it usually takes about five to ten minutes. So don't be um, you know, don't be weary. It's just going to be, it's allowing it to update and get everything taken care of for you. Uh, what, like I said, once it's connected, it should take you to the home screen and you're all set to go and ready for, uh, for your local representative to come to your closeout with you. Now, I always wanted to make sure because as we know, everybody is either an Apple or an Android user and we have a couple different ways. The uh, setup for the iPhone is just slightly different. So we're going to go back and do kind of a brief setup for this. Uh, and we won't go through the connection process, but just seeing where everything is for your actual Wi-Fi router is something that I feel like you needed to see. So really quickly, we're going to hit this and get it set up again to connect to SAP mode. Once again, as you mentioned, it's blinking, blinking twice, hit the connection, and this set will take you to where you need to set up for that. So we're going to go into the connections here. Let me go into my settings. Wi-Fi settings. And once again, it's going to ask for your Hunter. There it is right there. That one's ours. We're going to go ahead and connect. Go back to your screen over here and then hit continue when connected. And from there, you can go and do the same exact process as it was with your Android. Go and click your Wi-Fi network and you're going to go all the way down to connect and from there, it's pretty much exactly the same as your Android setup as well. Just wanted to make sure that iPhone users know exactly how to set theirs up too, okay? So with that being said, thank you so very much for watching the video and purchasing uh, an irrigation system with us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the, on the day of your closeout where we can get to go through and go through your standard watering schedule and really kind of go in depth at walking through your irrigation system and getting that taken care of, okay? Thank you so very much for watching. Once again, my name was Aaron with Thrive Outdoor Solutions, and you make it a great day.